Hello everyone, I'm Sandy Anastasi, Psychic Channel, Intuitive Astrologer, and Soul Coach. And I'm here with my Psychic Protection Tip number 36. This is also Sleep Protection Tip number 2, if you've been following that series. Folks, this Psychic Protection Tip, intended to help you get a better night's sleep when traveling, is a must for everyone whether you're visiting relatives, whether you're on vacation, or even if you're traveling for work, even if you're just spending one or two nights from home. I would bet that many of you have had similar experiences to the one I'm about to describe. A while back, I spent the night at a friend's house while teaching a conference nearby. It was a beautiful, quiet room. My friend was a most gracious host. The bed had a nice, firm mattress, which I like, and I, of course, expected a serene and completely restful night's sleep. But as soon as my head hit the pillow, I began to toss and to turn. Soon I realized I was going to have a restless night ahead of me. I couldn't seem to quiet my mind. In fact, no matter what I did to that perfect pillow, I couldn't make it right for me. Finally, I drifted off into a fitful sleep, filled with dreams of angry men who seemed to be yelling at me all night long. By morning, I was glad to get out of bed. My body felt like I hadn't slept at all. I was tense all over. I even had a headache. At breakfast, I asked my hostess who might have recently slept in her guest room. She began to explain that the room I spent the night in belonged to her daughter before it was turned into a guest room. Her daughter had indeed recently spent a week visiting as she was going through a marital breakup. She was also changing jobs at the same time, and she was trying to get herself sorted out. Apparently, the daughter's soon-to-be ex was really giving her a hard time, and her ex-boss was too. They were both screamers who had done serious damage to the poor girl. Listening to this sad story, I, of course, kicked myself. I know better than to sleep in someone else's bed without taking a few precautions first. Here are the precautions I should have taken. And let me tell you, these would have given me a great night's sleep. First, it's a great idea, my friends when traveling to bring your own pillow. In fact, there have been times when I actually strapped my pillow onto the outside of my suitcase when I was flying. It might have arrived a little bit dirty, but it was still mine. You see, your head and mind are very susceptible to the thoughts and feelings of other people. If you can't take your own pillow, at least dust the pillow that you're using with a sprinkling of salt Guess what? That's going to ground out any energy that's not yours, and it's easy enough to obtain. Everybody has salt at the dinner table. It'll get rid of any energy that's not yours. A banishing cross or pentagram, that means a five-pointed star, drawn with some salt water on the pillow is especially effective in blocking unwanted energy. I do this every time and everywhere I travel. Second, Treating the entire bed the same way, especially if you're on the road where so many different vibrations from so many different people might be left on the bed, will make you feel like you're in the same bed you share at home. This is both grounding and clearing. Third, sprinkling a little salt mixed with water or dusting a little salt clockwise around the room starting in the east will clear the room and make the entire space feel refreshed. This step is especially good to add if you're staying in a hotel. Fourth, if there's a scent that you frequently wear, or if you have a spray bottle of protection oil, or any purifying oil that's available to you. In fact, many health food stores sell that. Metaphysical stores sell those both online and offline, you can spritz the clockwise oil around the room 
starting in the east. This would be either in addition to or in place of sprinkling the previous step. So you could add it to or you could replace it for the salt. You're going to find, as I have, that doing these simple things gives you a better night's sleep when traveling. No more waking up with someone else's headaches, someone else's pains, just plain feeling out of sorts for you. Try it. You're going to be so glad that you did. And you don't have to tell anyone. It's your room and they'll never know. <laughs> I'm Sandy Anastasi. If you'd like more information about me and my work, visit my website. I'm at sandyanastasi.com. While you're there, sign up for my free monthly newsletter for more tips like this and lots and lots of other little bits and pieces of wisdom. And also, sign up for my free psychic hour. I will be glad to have me and my guides show you and help you to share advice with some of the other people on the call. It's just an amazing time. It's live, and we get a lot of great feedback on that Psychic Hour. I also want to share with you all of the educational tools, books, CDs, MP4s, MP3s, Blu-ray videos on my website in all areas of metaphysics. My specialty, of course, is psychic development. I'm looking forward to seeing you again, and I'll be back here next month with another Psychic Protection Tip. Thanks so much for stopping by.